First on five tonight, clean up in North Mobile County after a tornado touches down. The twister injured three people in Sarah Land as powerful winds tore roofs from commercial buildings, including a food distribution warehouse where an 18 wheeler flipped, injuring the driver. And that's where WKRG News 5's Brianna Hollis joins us live tonight. She spoke with workers who were inside when that tornado hit. Yes, Pina Roseanne, and they tell us it all just happened so fast and it was so unbearably loud. What we're standing in front of right now is actually a huge piece of the roof that the tornado ripped off and actually sent across the entire property. Now, as for that trucker, he was pulling his truck into one of these docks when the tornado hit, knocking his 18 wheeler over with him inside. Uh, it was extremely loud. The roof was ripping off, the truck fell over, metal was everywhere. Will Parker, vice president of China Doll, says he and a coworker ran outside when they heard a truck fall over, knowing the driver was inside. Ad adrenaline just kicks in and you just kind of do what you have to do and call 911 and get help here where they can get transported. So He says the trucker has a broken leg but is going to be okay. Just in a lot of pain, you know, he was trapped with a seat belt. It fell on the driver's side of the truck, just couldn't get out. So we just wanted to try to get him out as soon as we could and get him some help. Extensive cleanup still ahead here. There's a gaping hole in the facility. The tornado ripped off a piece of the building's outer wall along with the roof. All of this happening while the place was packed with employees. Had guys in the warehouse and just like they tell you, sounded like a freight train coming through. When it comes to fixing things up, the construction company doing the repairs says there's going to be a temporary wall and roof up within the next couple of days, but it's going to be several weeks until there's a permanent fix. Live in Sarah Land, Brianna Hollis, WKRG News 5.